got Gizmo here. Gizmo is a very, very happy, happy Yorkie. Very happy. What are you doing? Are you doing weird, funky stuff again? Hey, this is not that kind of video. The weirdo. Take these crickets with a can. You have to be looking down here. You don't even match. Come on, let's show the class. He got all these little pin mats. Matches from him licking. It's going to come back here, so I'm going to shake it here again. I think your rambunctiousness comes from you not being neutered, buddy. Neutering might calm you down just a smidge. Got a little boo boo here. Tub today. Alright, so we're going to do a number nine and a zero come, which is a three eighths. So he's like, uh, yeah, you're not getting me. Oh, come on. You did this last time. He does this every time. He gets very excited. I know that's really gross, but this is stuff we have to work with his groupers sometimes. Um, <laughs> I guess you could say he likes me. I'm happy he does just that. You got a pillow or stuffed animal at home? Hmm? You got a pillow? My one friend used to have a uh, little teddy bear for their dog. I named it Rex Man. Yeah. Moaning, moaning. Okay, don't get excited. I gotta keep my hand here to keep you straight. Boy, good boy. I love him with this. He's a he's a really good dog. He's just he gets a lot of energy. I wish I could get that much energy sometimes. I do have my coffee today. Baby. Now this, like I said, this is a zero cone on him. It was a five eighths of an inch or the yellow cone. Some people say it's an O. Some people say it's a zero. Either way, it's a five eighths. And then this the yellow plum, unless you got the three and his plums. Now for his face, last time we trimmed it, mama wants it long. So we're just gonna trim over the visor. Um, I know you're getting excited because I'm touching your, your, your stuff. It's okay. No humpies today, okay? I used to work with the burner. I probably you shouldn't say this on YouTube, but she was looking, you know, when I got a little more excited. She just let them finish. But to me, that's that's nasty. I don't get any enough of that. 
But she's like, well, otherwise they just keep doing it and they won't come down until they do. So, I mean, I understand, but at the same time, mm -mm. nope. She was really funny. I loved her with her, but after she told me that, I was like, oh, man, I looked at her in a different kind of light. Sorry, buddy. I don't give the happy endings. I wonder if she still grooms. That was like back when I was in Ohio. Hello. Hey, hey that evil again. Yeah, that was definitely a TMI moment. For sure. Now his front legs, I need to scissor them. He's got some little tiny pin mats. And I don't know if the pin mats are from him um, scratching, which I mean could be a possibility because, you know, it is holiday season. It has come quite early this year. Or if it's maybe from the TT and it's just getting stuck. Or maybe something he got into the yard, I don't know. He's got kind of like some little pin marks on his front part, too. See, that's what I mean by the little pin marks. It's kind of like what you have on this private area. I gotta look you up, buddy. some of that pent up energy out and he'll, he'll pee just about everywhere. And that's just because he's not noodled. Dogs that usually uh, are not noodled. Noodled. They're not noodled. They're not neutered. It tends to uh, urinate a lot more frequently. And it's just a marking mechanism. He's trying to let the ladies know that he is here. Okay, so now we got the body done. Now we are going to shave his pads. Yes, hi, buddy. And shave his pads, and then we're going to start centering him up. Uh, and as I go through his pad, I will check his nails. Mr. Man, hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 it's so hey. <laughs> this foot like went right onto my throat. And he's not a big fan of getting his nails clipped. Stop. As you can see, he doesn't like his front feet. He doesn't like his front feet cut. And it's because he can see it. No. No. Now, what is she doing? What is she doing?
Please don't buy that thing here. I already got bit this morning with my cat. No. No. Ow, ow, ow. No. 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 Mr. Man. Now, if I let go, more like a dominance thing. If I let go, he wins. So, just holding until he comes down. And then right back at the clipping. And just right back at it by him. It's, it's, it's like a circle. Eventually he'll, you know, he'll get used to it. Maybe he won't. Nope. 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 It's okay, Bubby. I know, it's okay. And that wasn't so bad. That was not so bad. Now while he yes, he was moving around, my arm was kind of going with him. I wasn't make, I was making sure that he wasn't pulling his arm. <clears throat> I would have let go then. No. But you know, we also as groomers need to also help try to train the dogs that it's okay to get their nails clipped. Because a lot of dogs do not like their nails clipped. No. And if we don't try to, you know, try to help them while they're here. It's only going to get worse. Um, sometimes to the point to where they have to get no, no, to where they have to get ow. They have to get sedation. Um, I could muzzle him. Yes, I could muzzle him. Do I want to muzzle him? No, I don't. Because it's not going to teach him anything. It's just going to teach him to get stressed. And every time he sees the... Um, he sees the muzzle, he's gonna accentuate that with something bad's gonna happen. Oh, my nails are gonna get clipped. I'm gonna get, you know, really cray cray. So, no. You can do that if you won't, but I only put them on if I feel that they're gonna be, if I'm gonna get injured, or I feel that they're gonna get injured. But nail clippers, I'm not really too worried about. You did a really good job. You did a good job. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I love you. I love you. I love you. Even though you probably licked your weenie, and now you, your weenie's all over my face. We still love you. Okay. No. Hey, don't let me do the one side, and then not let me do the other side. Hey, 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 no, 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 I'm going to use my straights. Two sides, and then I just round them out. Now, normally I would brush the foot up, but since his feet kind of already lay nice, I'm not going to do that because it's just going to make them look a lot shorter. And then this leg here, I'm just going to trim a little bit downward so it kind of still looks like a stove pipe leg in a sense. Because I don't want to cut this part right here in front of the leg because that's going to make it look really, really skinny. And we don't want him to look like he's uh, <clears throat> walking on some six. And I am pushing his testicles in so the sort of scissors do not get to get to those. We definitely don't want to cut those. At least not while he's awake anyway. You would definitely remember that for sure. Okay. I'm going to scissor in here. Make sure that you're careful because there is a tuck up right here and you can cut that. Put the little here in front of his pater, pumpkin eater. Uh, make sure you always get the hair underneath the armpit. Because uh, when you're walking, you can kind of see it. 
I never used to clip that before until um, the guru that I started working with, he kind of retrained me, to be quite honest. Um, and for that, I knew that his name was Mike. I believe he's a firefighter now. Um, he went to grooming school, and then I think he had a baby, or I think they were going to have a baby. And then he went to become a firefighter, which I thought was very, very awesome. I'm going to use my chunkers here to kind of blend this in a little bit better since it's got more of that uh, on in here. And this will kind of help blend it in a little bit better. I'm going to brush the insides and I'm going to brush the inside of the leg. Because you want to make sure that you do that because you can see as the dog's coming towards you, you'll be able to see hair here. And when the owner's walking the dog, you can see the hair sticking out right there. So for all four legs, you're always going to want to look at each leg from both angles. And always brush your hair up because then you'll see what hair stick out when they shake. Brush his foot on this side to the left. The hair that comes off on the side, it's got to go. And we do the same thing for the other side. This will give them really cute round feet. This is also a really good tactic for um, cavaliers, for some owners that like the Grinch feet, um, but they want them trimmed up. If you just brush them for it, round it, and then brush the one side, cut that, and then brush to the other side and cut that, you'll get a nice round foot. Uh, but you'll still have like those funky little funk, funk, funky stuff between the toes. I don't know why some people like it. Um, some people put, really think that they're cute. Uh, if you're one of those people, please let me know. Uh, I don't know, do they look like slippers or something? See, <clears throat> as a groomer, I don't like them just because, you know, when they run around outside, they pick up all the dirt and all the leaves and it just comes into the house. That plus it gets all wet. Um, and I don't like the wetness coming in the house. Um, but then again, that's why I don't have a cavalier. But if I had a cavalier, I would, I would cut his feet. I would cut the feet hair for sure. since he's kind of chilled out a little bit. I'm just blending with the chest and everything in. Um, and I'm going to do the same thing up here with the neck. But I'll get to that when I get done with his legs. up the chunks of the hair 
and it kind of blends it a little bit. This is a really great tool for your terriers. Watch. You see all this funky hair here? All the funky hair? Watch. I'm going to take this down and it's going to look so pretty. And it's going to look natural. Try to do it from this side and I'll show you. Now I'm still over here scissoring it. But just look at how pretty that leg looks now. It looks more natural. I still got to trim it up a little bit, but the back part, it looks freaking amazing. <clears throat> uh, now, you could get the same effect with your uh, blenders, but I find that the chunkers can take off a lot more hair. Uh, probably like the, it's not like a full cut. Maybe times two other things. So, I mean, I like it. It's not for everybody, though. Unfortunately, it's not. Some people like it, some people don't. It's a hit or miss. Um, but I really think they're a great tool to add to your scissors, <clears throat> your scissor collection. Scissoring this side, rounding it, getting my comb, brushing it over to one side, scissoring this that comes out on this side, scissoring anything that comes out on the other side, so you can't really see that, can you? Brushing it on the other side now. see here, it's got to go. And I got a nice little foot. Nice little natural foot. Yeah, she had a seizure this morning when she came in. Oh, there's some um, by where the printer is. Uh, to the left of that little uh, rack gate thing. Okay. So now we got his body. Okay. 
Now we're gonna work on his face. Okay, I'm trying to think of where to put y'all. It's gonna be the face. She said, she said, she was she said she wasn't that bad. She wasn't that bad. She said she didn't want a refund. Yeah, she, yeah, she said that. She just said that she wants, she's trying to tell us that she wants his haircut changed. I'm like, well, why didn't she say that? She seems, keeps sending pictures of the same haircut yeah. that it, we do. And she goes, well, she doesn't seem to think that he looks like a picture. And I was like, I did it. Longer on his head. I did a longer on his head. That's why I tried to explain and her. on his ear and on his face. Like it was, it was longer. It was fluffier. I said, and, uh, and she said, looks like a drowned rat. She doesn't want his tail shaved. And I'm like, why didn't she write that down? Why didn't she say that? And I did try to call her yesterday, but anytime I try to call her, her phone always goes straight to voice. Mm -hmm. So like, I can't ever get a hold of her. I don't know what job she does, whatever, but I don't read voicemails whenever I call to ask them questions because what ends up happening is they call me back at the end of the day after I've already done it. So, like, yeah. I, don't, I don't ever leave a voicemail. If I got yeah, lately question. what I've been trying to do, if I can't get a hold of them, I've been trying to text them. Yeah, just... and I thought about that. I was like, maybe I should no. text her. And I should have. Now, I mean, that's what I've been doing lately. Yeah. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't because there was a lady that, uh, yeah. I think it was Sookie. Sookie was here the other day and she was really mad at it and I couldn't get a hold of her. She called back here and we missed each other. Yeah. So I was like, okay, well, I don't want to wait all day for her to call me because uh, it was the last doll that I had to do. So I texted both numbers that were on there. I mean, she answered me back and said that was fine. Um, yeah. I figured she probably would meet you but, this next time. Poor girl, she just get home. She's just she's so old. And she just is constantly laying, you know. But it was, I'm like, I don't understand why she hasn't, why she didn't say that the last time she, that he got shaved. I said, well, the last time I shaved him, she said the same as last time. Yeah. So I, mean, I did. She did tell Erica that, you know, she is used to us, you know, shaving her dog, so. Yeah. But she said, she's just trying to tell us that she wants something different. And I'm like, well, why didn't she say that? But yeah, because she keeps saying it's the same photo every time. Every and it's time. been the same photo for the I, past I few said, years. I'm assuming that she sees these other doodles and she wants their haircut. So, like, she probably sees, like, um, Logan and um, what the bow. Yeah. And I'm assuming that's what she wants done. But yeah. she doesn't know how to say it. Yeah. So, so well, I... Put a caller and say, you know, just. <laughs> yeah, either she and Erica told me if she gets nasty with me, I can hang up on her. Well, part of it she doesn't. And then she calls back. Oh, the phone gets disconnected. Well, part of it she doesn't want to call any issues. It was yeah. just like that uh, sky doll that I did. She was fine with the haircut, but then there was an issue with the butt, and I. I told Erica, I said, I don't know if it was me. I said, I've never had a problem with Sky ever. I said, I yeah. told the mom, you know, that the doctor wanted her to be pre-medded beforehand because she gets really anxious and she does poop and she gets stressed yeah. out on my tail the last few times. And, you know, then she sent a photo of just the butt with the tail down and it looked like she had been licking because you can see saliva stain. Um, and they argued and said, well, that, could, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's from you because that usually takes yeah. days for it to just be that much. But then um, when Doug told her she needed to come in so we could evaluate, uh, she said she was out of town. So she sent a photo and it was just, the tail was down so we couldn't see the anus. So we don't know what it was, but we just ended up, they ended up refunding her so I don't get paid for it. What I mean, she was fine with the haircut. Which dog was it? Sky. Which one? Uh, that terrier um, that I used to clip down. The big one? Yeah, the, with the blue eyes. Oh, she's, she just got here. She just got here for boarding. Yeah, she's, yeah she was boarding, but... Uh, yeah, I, just, I was just like... Oh, <clears> but they put notes in there to not groom her anymore. Are you serious? Because mm -hmm, she made a big old stink about it, but then she said two days later, you know, that it was subsiding. So I think if it was a nick or a cut like that, it wouldn't have subsided in two days. Well, did she like poop on the table? She pooped on the table like two or three times, yeah. And that's when I, I told her, I, there's even notes in it, doctor. She probably had a sore butt. Yeah. Pooping so much. 
doctor now said that she wanted her to be pre-medded because she gets very aggressive. Um, they have to hold her down and muzzle her because she's just, it's just too much for her. I told the mom, you know, maybe do it on a different day when you're doing grooming. Yeah. But she said it was just easier for her to do it all at one time, but I mean, it, it's just yeah. too much for Sky. I didn't know that that But he tears what he tears. I mean, you can't please everybody. I mean, we try our hardest. We really, really do. I mean, it's obviously a communication error. But. too much. I totally love you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.